uh, strange day. It's tax day. Um, no, I, I might as well say this. I mean, if you followed me at all on Twitter, I mean, I'm, I'm late because I'm doing my taxes because normally these, these will show up, uh, you know, or about maybe six, seven, maybe 10, 12 hours earlier, uh, than they are today just because I've got taxes going on. I've, I've, I, I don't know. There's something, it, it's one of those, it's weird. My mouth isn't working. I don't know, but part of me kind of doesn't want to tell us. Part of me kind of does. My mouth is not talking. Normally, I can go blah, 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 and make my mouth work, but my mouth muscles are not working as fast as they normally do. And it's making me stutter and stumble, and it's really weird, and I've got a headache. So I, I don't know, folks. I, it almost sort of makes me believe in like, like demonic attacks on your body. You know, like... Like when you're tired, like demons attack you or whatever like that. It almost like I've never really seen that a lot, but it almost makes me suspect it because it's just really, really uncanny because I've decided looking through this week and looking over everything that's going on. No, I I mean, I'm having to enunciate my words loudly and clearly just to get them out of my mouth. And it's it's not normal. And it's just one of those things. So. I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. I need to go do stuff and I've been at it all day. But that sounds like I'm talking funny and I'm, I'm, I'm really milking it. I'm just trying to make my mouth work. I, I know this is weird. My mother, you know, <clears throat> assuming that my mother's listening to my own podcast, uh, ah, she'd probably go, your mouth doesn't work. Well, which is what happened when you were a kid. Probably got a lot of classmates from college and high school and childhood is the same. Anyhow, <clears throat> I've looked at what's going on this week and I, I'm starting to think that this is part of a demonic attack against Jesse. Uh, maybe because I've decided, I've decided that I'm going to think more. I didn't table it. I didn't give it up. I'm thinking more seriously about really going after Sunday culture as a demonic thing. I, I haven't decided if it's demonic or not. But I'm thinking about going after it as if it is. Or that it might be and maybe I should go after it or whatever. It's just... I... There's so much weirdness about what's going on everywhere in the world. And... and I'll just tell you why I'm even thinking about launching on this Sunday morning jazz. You know, I mean, just no, 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 George, George, the audience is smart enough to know that I'm not getting on some sort of a religious wacko pedestal. They, they, they're okay. Let's look at it this way. You know how, Christians like to complain about certain clothing or certain morality issues and all that stuff. All right, follow this. In the Christian Bible-based worldview, there are certain rules about sexuality and and sex and what's okay and what's not okay. Uh, Marriage, same-sex relationships, uh, wearing uh, very, very revealing sexual clothing, there are things about this. Okay. Uh, may, maybe other issues too. I suppose we could get into drug and substance abuse, but let's, let's just keep it simple. There, we'll just call them morality issues. And a lot of Christians are fighting about whether it's okay to have, uh, you know, a guy's cheating on his wife and is it okay for him and his girlfriend to go to church together? Or... You know, you've got same-sex relationships or marriages, and is that okay? And there's a lot of argument about this. And I'm, I mean, my purpose here is not to opine or advocate any position on those. I have positions on those. I'm not going to address that. My point is, it's a big ruckus. Everyone's all excited about it. Everyone's all mad about it. And it wouldn't be a problem if there wasn't a Sunday morning. 
The, 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 the premise to the whole debate is, is same-sex relationships okay? Are, is, is, is it all right to, to, to be unfaithful to your spouse? Or open? Is an open marriage okay? You know, there's just questions about this. It, it's only a question whether or not it's okay to accept certain things on Sunday morning is only a problem if there's a Sunday morning. Now, if there's not a Sunday morning, all of a sudden it's not a problem anymore. If, if, <clears throat> if the church doesn't perform a state government certified marriage ceremony, then the question of state certified same-sex marriage doesn't apply to the church anymore. Who, who, would, who in heaven or hell or wherever else is the church to do a state government certified marriage ceremony. That, 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 should, that should be purely inside religion. If you want a state certified marriage, you should you know, go ahead. If your religion wants you to go do this with a priest or a pastor or whatever, or if you're supposed to go do your marriage with that, go do it. But if you want a state certified marriage, you should have to go do the vows all over again in front of the judge. That's how it should be. And, and if, if that's how it was, this wouldn't be a problem. So there's just too much obsession about the Sunday morning thing. And, I, well, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not advocating getting rid of it. I'm just saying that it's only a problem because it's there. If it wasn't there, it wouldn't be a problem. The Bible doesn't say you got to meet on Sunday morning. The Bible doesn't say you need to have uh, coming together every week with a group of Christians who have licensed and registered themselves with the government. You know, that that's not biblical. And a lot of the fights that, that go on with, 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 with Christian church and politics, it's all because the Sunday morning thing exists. Get rid of it, and it's not a problem. You know, is, is it all right for, uh, for same-sex people to, to show up on Sunday morning? Well, I don't go to Sunday morning. If you just invite people over to your house or you just get together and meet with people informally, then it's up to you individually. There's no longer a corporate vote. Maybe there's, maybe there's, there's people that, that have a broken marriage. One guy cheated on his wife and their marriage has fallen apart. And they want to talk about it. Well, then get together with the, just a few Christians and they can make the decision themselves if it's not part of this official church thing that everybody has to share. It's no longer a problem, see? So I, there, there's, a lot, there's a lot of that. I mean, same thing with clothes. Is it all right to talk to a hooker about Jesus? Well, on Sunday morning you shouldn't because there's children. Well, get rid of Sunday morning and then go talk to a hooker about Jesus anytime you want to and then nobody cares. There's a group out in Vegas called Cupcake Girls that are doing that. So just if, just, if we drop this obsession with officiation and everything, 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 my goodness, so many things. Just p Pastors are wonderful people, but they get, they get burned out and attacked. By, by the, the very people that they lead. Without that Sunday morning thing, if those pastors were doing something else, they wouldn't get attacked and gossiped about so much. So I, I'm just, I look at the necessity of this and how many problems it creates by being there. And I'm thinking I might be talking about other stuff related, but I'm out of time and have to get to the point. The big picture often trumps all. Look at your annual budget when deciding your monthly budget. Filing for a tax extension because you procrastinated actually takes more time because of the additional filing. That's about five minutes you took from your year that you could have spent better reading the Bible or watching baseball. When people stonewall, it's really annoying and frustrating and, you know what, it's not that big of a wall. Only petty people stonewall because only petty people care. The same goes for insults and gossip and anything. The big picture prioritizes money, time, strategy, and friendship. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.